Hey guys, um, last Valentine's Day I wanted to make something really nice for my wife but I didn't know what to make and I'm not very good at making jewelry. But I went to the artbeats.com website and I found some chain and I thought hey it would be pretty easy to put some little charms on there and a clasp and make her something really nice and personal. Um, so that's what I did, it was easy, um, she loved it, and so I wanted to show you guys and other guys out there that you can make something nice and not know how to make jewelry. And so if you guys are up for it, I'll show you how I made it. All right, all right, sounds, sounds good. Okay, first let's look at what we have to work with here, guys. We've got some sterling silver candy heart charms, some silver plated cable chain, some sterling silver trigger clasps and sterling silver jump rings in two sizes. And these are the tools we're going to use today. We've got side cutters and we've got chain nose pliers. If you don't have some of these tools you can improvise by using needle nose pliers for the chain nose pliers but uh, no power tools guys. <laughs> can you use an all-purpose tool? Well, it's a lot like a Needle nose plier, that could probably work. Has cutters. I think that'd probably work too. Okay, the first thing we have to do is determine how long we want this necklace to be. The choker I made for my wife was about 14 and a half inches. Generally, necklaces are around 16 to 20 inches. And if you wanted to make a bracelet instead, you could measure probably about seven inches would be good. Um, I'm gonna measure 16 for this one that we're gonna make today. So measure it out. Take your side cutters, grab one part of the loop, and just cut. And then you've got your 16 inches. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the trigger clasp on the chain. So grab your trigger clasp, and this one comes with a jump ring. If yours doesn't, you can always put one on there. And grab the jump ring on one side where it's cut and then grab the other side with the other pair of chain nose pliers you have and just twist it this way, like that. Um, you don't ever want to pull it apart vertically, apart from each other. That will weaken the jump ring. So you just want to just twist it a little bit. Then it's open. Attach it to the chain. Grab it again and twist it closed. And that's it. Okay, the next thing now is we need to pick out the candy heart charms that we want to use on our necklaces. Um, they come with a lot of different expressions on them, so you kind of want to pick the ones that you know you feel reflect what you want to say most to your your significant other here. So pick a few of these charms, um, three, five, six, however many you want, um, with the messages that you want to have on them and then we'll attach them onto the necklace. Okay, now that you've got your charms, um, determine which charms you want to go where. Um, I've got five, looks like you guys have five too, so we'll want to center one of them right in the middle of the chain, and you can either find the middle by measuring or actually counting the links. And once you've found your middle area, you're going to attach that charm to that link. So grab your pliers again open up this link and then attach it to the middle of the chain and then close it and then just measure, again, for the other charms, equal distances from the center charm and attach those to the chain too. All right guys, we got all the charms on there and I think we are done. What do you think? Looks really good. It didn't take that long, really easy. Yeah, and I think the fact that you guys picked out the charms and you made it yourself will really make it a special gift. So good job, guys. Thanks. Thanks.